We're down streaming. We live. All right. Peace, love, and light to everybody. This is NKG Lion in Asia, currently living in China. Happy to get everybody on the stream. And we just making some beats. We just cooking up some beats right now. We're cooking up some beats for my homie Cliff Beachwood. Like, uh, sent him some beats last month. I don't know if you guys heard the H2O flow jump, but you know, it was legit. And I think I can give you guys a preview of the H2O flow. Hold up, give me a second. I got the SP404 right next to me. Yeah, and I got the projects open. I gotta find out which one it is though. All right, nah, let me turn off the DJ effects looper. Okay. Nah. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry if it's mad loud. I know that's the part. Let's put it a little bit lo lower. Ooh, let's do that right there. No. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, I know where I put it. Man, sorry. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. My bad. I got mad beats on here. Oh, yeah, here, here it goes. Okay, I'm going to play this show for you guys. No, that shit slap. <laughs> that shit slap. This would be like the perfect type beat to like freestyle to for me. Fuck with that beat, that beat Yeah. I did that. Y'all y'all listen to the track for real. My man Cliff Beachwood, he put uh, a video of him freestyle or uh, rapping over the jump on his page. So follow follow him on, on Instagram and shit. Alright, so, yeah, that was the beat, you feel me, and, um, uh, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to just, uh, get to playing, uh, I'm about to get to playing some other shit.
like just showing you what I got cooked up. I'm processing it through the SP404 right now, but I'm about to just disable that so that way y'all can just get the clean audio. I'm not doing no performances right now, so I'm not gonna put extra effects. I'm just showing you like some of my production shit. Right now I got like this one called Smell. Got some loops, got some keys, got a whole bunch of stuff using Arcade. Complete control, of course, um, using some cymatics uh, samples, even some unison samples, and just really just making a little shit with it. So I think this, is this is the drums. Yeah, I think that's the drums. All right, so right here, we start right here. All right, let me get some of that. Can't hear it. Let me get some of that. Alright, so yeah. So that's the main part of the sample. Let me try to get some volume on that. Not trying to blow your ears off. <laughs> I'm still new to this audio routing stuff on OBS, so be patient with me. Okay. So. I had, um. First, put the drums on it, I think. Like, so. But let's start with the little vocals I put over here. So let's let's go start with that. Start. Well, the vocals take a minute to kick in. So one thing is, you know, I like to put like a little ambient flavor on the tracks that I make because I I make a lot of IDM. So like IDM is kind of like where I'm at and like down tempo and stuff. So when I make like hip hop beats, I try to like make an ambient hip hop. But then wait, like when you put the drums on that shit, you go. like already put like a vibe on that and as you can see the drum pro processing i i used the uh, plugins that knock i don't know if you can see plugins that knock. can you see that shit yeah you can all right my bad i'm bugging all right so yeah so decaps plugins that knock puts like some punch on it saturate it put a little sub on that and then the air vintage and then soft clip it and of course i put the drum smoother on there here like and I used the arcade to make this loop but like I don't know like I, I flattened uh, because I did first did it on my old MacBook and stuff so what I did was I flattened the audio because the, I couldn't handle the CPU like the CPU on my old Mac was just bugging but I got a Mac studio now so like all that shit changed and then here comes the main So that mm, mm, and then I go into that. So it's it stays like that. The second loop it just stays on that. Mm, and then the bass line, you know, I got that from like one of the free cymatics packs. And I just felt like it sounded like some, I don't know, like some Currency or Larry June type stuff. And Currency, like my favorite rapper, so I like putting on that and it just went like this. It just got super smooth, like the whole thing super smooth for real. So like, now like that the bass line is in there, it sounds like some shit that you could just ride to, you know? And then like I put guitars like some like like guitar delay with a little bit of saturation. Just as like kind of like a counter melody. And then I got another like counter melody. Hold on, I'm gonna play that other counter melody for you. So yeah, 
yeah that's basically the gist of it like of course i still gotta arrange it and when i arrange it i'm not gonna put like no crazy drops on it because i don't think it need all that like i feel like it kind of sound like a cardo beat like low key and you know when cardo make it, his beats like you don't you don't do no crazy like drops and you know effects he just kind of keeps it simple that's the vibe right out and you honestly like if if you giving it to a nigga that can rap like you gonna flow on it and it's just not you know you don't gotta he don't gotta do nothing on it for real like you know what i mean i mean you don't gotta do nothing on it for real. he gonna do everything on it <laughs> you feel me so i think like that's that's really important to be able to like do that and, and like have that space for a rapper to do their thing on it so you know when i finish this i'm gonna give this to my homie beachwood like and i already know like my man gonna kill that shit you know so that's just one of the this is one of the joints um let me see i don't know that one's called smell uh i don't know let me go through my files that's like i'll be forgetting what i got sometimes uh let me see let me change this view. I hate using icon um, list view. I like using icon view because it make me kind of remember what's going on. All right, but I have a problem remembering what files are what because you know sometimes when you be making beats, like some stuff comes out and you be like, you don't want. <laughs> It's like the beat beat. Not, I won't say it's garbage because like there's plenty of times like I have a beat I'll start it off and I like hate how I started it off, but then like after a while that shit like starts to hit. Oh, I'm not gonna do this one because I feel like using momentum. I feel like you like when you use momentum, you damn near gotta make the whole beat on momentum. So I'm not gonna like do that because then I'm gonna have to get on the keys and I don't wanna do that right now. Um, this is High Tower Nights. Oh, I, f I feel like I know what that sample is. Flying Time. Let me see. What's this, Doctor Dirty? I'll be naming my beats some weird stuff. Okay, let's see. Sheesh. I wish on OBS that you could see who watching your shit. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm just glad to be streaming like this because I've come a long way. All right, let's see what this Dr. Dirty is. Oh, this one's like, uh, it's like kind of like some old school shit I made. Uh. Uh. Like, no, let me stop. Uh. do this horn oh, i'll put digitalis on it it's like some more idm stuff i swear like i cannot stop doing idm things to my hip-hop stuff like using weird idm stuff Jones. Damn. Like, let me see. The build up. I don't think I want to play build up. It's, I feel like if I play, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, Conviction. Dark Mondays. I think Conviction is like. I feel like I made it for an anime. What, I made that. I made it for berserk i was watching the new berserk the 2017 one that everybody hates so much i don't know i like berserk everything so like like 
I, I like I like that. You feel me? Just because I can't get enough Berserk content, but you know the Conviction arc is like one of the crazy arcs. So I just put it in there. Let me see. Whoa, what does Jump sound like? I want to like I want to build it up for y'all. Like I don't want to just like just drop beats like that because then there's no fun. So I'm gonna just play like. Wait, let me see. No. Oh no, that's the melody. That's the melody. Wait. Where that coming from? Oh, I was fine. Let me start with that. I think I, I think this one really relied on the drums. Yeah. Oh, I know why. It's because like. The keys that I had saved, I don't know, they're not playing right. Okay, let me try to fix these keys. That's my bad. Why is the vibrato still on there like that? Ugh. Can I get it back the way I had it before? Why it sound like that? I thought they was going to save. Why I still got the vibrato? I don't took a... Maybe I need to reload this broken keys. Broken keys is from Low Heat. If y'all follow Low Heat on um YouTube, Low Heat is a pretty dope dude when it comes to just like making some funky stuff. So he made like a couple instruments and I, you know, I tuned into that cuz I was like, yeah, I like it when people be making like Ableton instruments. Ableton has some strong stuff, you feel me? Let me see if I can like salvage it though. <laughs> Damn, the keys went. The keys was hard too, like the way it was before. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they're just super glitchy. I don't know. I don't think I can save it. Maybe I have to play it on my old Mac for it to just like work normally. You know, my bad, y'all. Just wasted y'all time. It's like y'all gonna be in this to watch this anyways. Cause I got some dope beats anyways I just gotta fix them keys The keys was really like on some Like if I could have to explain it in words They were really on some like 8 bit video game Kind of like keys Like But not super like Degraded You know they were still clear So But I'm gonna I'm play it for y'all one day Like I'm just sick that they did that to my keys, bruh. It's just dark Mondays. Always, like I said, I always be naming my shit weird. Oh, yeah. I like that vibe. I like the vibe. Give me the vibe. Start doing beats with like uh, like rappers' vocals, like you know how people be just taking vo vocals and making their own remixes. I only did that shit once with Snoop, with a Snoop Dogg joint, but like I need to do that again. Like put Pusha T's vocals on this joint, it was slap. Like it was, it was really slap. sends people's people emails right they, and they did this email about like people making beats with just ambient sounds like they would go to railroads and all types of stuff and they would like they gave out like the ableton projects with like pretty much packs of just ambient sounds and 
you know, me doing IDM and stuff like that, I was like, for sure, like, I have to do that. I have to get it. So they got this Antarctica, like, someone was chilling in Antarctica, like, recording the ice. I was like, yes, I need that. would want this one too because i feel like this is a pretty dope one too i don't know i'd be like i don't know if y'all can see how i arrange my files i have my files arranged in like low mid and high but for real for real like things change depending on when i listen to them there's some stuff that i felt like was like a a high quality beat and then i go back and i'm listen and i listen to this shit and i'd be like oh this is garbage so i just take it from high and just throw it straight into the low pile or if i feel like i gotta do a lot of work to it then i just throw it in the mid pile or sometimes i listen to something that i thought was a mid beat but really like it was fire as shit like i was like damn like why did i think that this was mid you feel me okay i think i made this super simple because there's only three tracks no but arcade is open but What's going on? Is this? Don't tell me this is. All right, let's see. I think what's going on is there's some shit going on with my CPU. No, my CPU fine. Hmm. It's Ableton. Sometimes Ableton be doing this. I'm not going to lie to you. Let me try to freeze some tracks. Freeze. Nah. Uh, it's still doing it. It's still acting buggy. <sighs> I thought this was only happening on my old Mac. Okay, let's see. Is it is it chilling? Is it chilling? Okay. Oh, uh, it's still acting buggy. Ew. Alright, let me try to do it again. Alright, freeze. Okay, freeze all the tracks. There's no excuse if I freeze all the tracks, dog. All right, let me look at Turbo Boost. Nope. Ableton just being a bitch. Oh, my God. Stop being a bitch, Ableton. Or maybe because I'm running, running it in Rosetta. A lot of my beats that I made on my old Mac, I need to run through Rosetta because for some reason, all the VST2s are just acting like stupid when you get on... All right, I'm done with this beat right here because I don't know, as soon as I hopped on this one, it's doing this uh, CPU stuff. All right, let's go to my lo-fi beats, I guess. Because those ones are the same as like the hardcore hip hop tracks. Like, And if I start diverging from that, then this is gonna be a whole different type of stream. Let's see. What's this crazy laugh? Okay, hopefully, cross my fingers. That it's not going to do this shit when I go to the next project. Otherwise, I'm going to have to close Ableton and open it back up again. You feel me? And I'm going to be sick. I don't even know why it does that. Like, I'm about to, like, research that. Like, is it just me? Nah. Oh. Is it? Nah, it's doing this shit again. All right. Give me, like, five seconds. I'm going to close this shit. Bloop. Ableton, you stupid B. All right, but thank you for tuning in right now. We doing it. Just you know, had some small hiccups with the Ableton, but maybe it's because my kilobits. Nah, my kilobits is fine. Fuck out of here. This shit is green. All right, so let me. I'm gonna open that first one again. See if it start bugging out again. I don't think it's gonna bug out again. I think that's just some shit that happens sometimes with Ableton. And I also got Turbo Boost on. So sometimes I feel like if you got Turbo Boost on, it's more likely to do that shit where it just be throttling. But either way, 
Ableton is still the best. Don't let nobody lie to you. Ableton, Ableton's still the best, but um, I will tell y'all this, like, machine, it lets you work for real. If you really want to just come up with, like, super unique ideas with good sound design, you don't want to even focus on sound design, machine got it. Uh, uh, a lot of my drums, I get them from um, Cooking Soul. Cooking Soul got the low bap life, so those loops be good because sometimes I really don't want to focus on drums. I just be wanting to focus on keys and bass and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. I know y'all like that. Absinthe and sketch cassette. Okay, let's see. I think I'll put some bass on that. I know y'all be expecting me to really rap. I used to rap. I could probably not lay some old bars that I made back in the day. Uh, 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 uh. See, I drive around town with the dude strapped down to the side. No frontin', just in case I wanna smoke something. Cause out here we try and get paid, so it's no free weed. You better come with some cake. Homie on my bags is fat like Ricky Lake. Meet up with my brothers and do the shake and bake. Early in the morning when I do my wake and bakes, I pull out my bowl and consume my daily frosted flakes. See, Kush with Dr. Poker will have you in the choco. Got a bad bitch, but ass tits like Matsumoto. She rolling up that loco and you rolling up that so so. So if you get smacked, you get smacked with more rings than Frodo. I'm so hood and I smoke like I should, you know why? Uh. Cause I be smoking on some good, that's artificial flavor. AK47 cushion chopping that paper. I'm always puffing purple, so I'm always puffing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yo, I, I tried though. I tried. I tried. But then I need I need to add more elements. I ain't, I mean it's just a bass and this uh absinthe. Absinthe got sounds, but like I said, it's more like an IDM thing. Everything always goes back to IDM for me. I'm sorry, like I, I just got addicted to Flying Lotus way too early, and it just, it corrupted me. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, like, I, Flying Lotus makes some dope hip-hop shit, but he also makes some dope, like, IDM stuff. Like, everybody remembers, like, the Adult Swim bumps. And I would say, like, half them bumps was, like, hip-hop, and half them bumps was IDM. And people didn't even know it was IDM, because IDM is just, like, mad abstract at first when i first heard idm i thought it was like house like edm but just with like super ambient textures but it's like nah because there's some ambient there's some idm beats with like hip-hop drums like if you listen to apex twin um was that albert balsam yeah that junk that junk got hip-hop drums on it so like IDM is just like super ass. The only thing that really defines IDM is it's just supposed to be kind of complex. Like the chords, the melodies, the glitchy drums, whatever people be doing with this shit. And it's supposed to be like super airy and you know what I mean? Like I just feel like that's what IDM is supposed to be for real. So yeah, like, all right, let's see. What did I do with this beat? I, I don't even, I need to start like, Naming everything melody and bass. I mean, I do that sometimes, but I don't. No, this is the bass. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to save that for later there. Okay, well, let me start with some keys. Always like. What did I do with this? Okay. I think that's also a melody. Let me fall back on that. Oh, yeah. All right, this is, you know, always got to start with the chords with me. Mm, 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 mm. And then the beats. 
I know I called I called it crazy laugh because I wanted to put some crazy laughs in the background. So I wanted them dark ass beats. I'm not even gonna look at Finn Micro because I think Finn Micro messed up my stuff. <laughs> like, uh, this is the problem with changing computers and like trying to open up old beats. It's like the presets that you had saved, it might not even remember it for real. Uh, mm, mm, had that bass in there, I'm like, right, two, three, four. This is doing some lighting. Yeah, that bass is gliding all over the place. Let me see what's going on. Ooh, what are you doing? Sound like a car. That two octave bass. Okay, let me try to go back. I know I didn't do nothing crazy to that bass. Okay, let's see. But I feel like maybe I just got to reset it. Maybe. Let me see if it's going to sound normal. Nah, 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 nah. Something going on. Maybe I did do something special to the bass and just changed the oscillators. Let me see. I think I might have changed the shape. Shape. Maybe I might wanna, yeah, maybe the three octave sub might sound better. Nah. Well, I mean, I like using three octaves. Mm. I'm gonna just keep it at this three octave sub. Let's see how it sounds like with this. Ooh, too low, too low, too low, my guy, too low. I'm not saving this though. After I start, I play this for you guys because I want it. I want that original thing that I made. But I mean, this will kind of do. But it's too beefy. It's too beefy. I didn't. Want, I wanted it to be subtle. Like maybe I put up the attack. You know, learn your basic ADSR saves lives, bro. Subtractive synthesis is everything when you're like making stuff. It don't even matter if like you're not really into like, you know, electronic music. If you know subtractive synthesis, like you could make like some good hip hop and stuff. Let me see if I put it one more octave up. It might sound crazy though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. Hold. I'm not gonna hold you. Yes. And then it sounds like they put like some kind of like unison on it. Is there a unison on that? Like, hold up. Like, let me see. It really sounds like they put some unison on it. Like, and I don't want no unison on my shit. But I mean, this is the limited view. Can I open it in a normal view? Dog. This is why I don't like using complete control. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like using complete control because, yeah, you got access to all the instruments.